finally a baby girl in the family. Oh, she is beautiful. The image of Jack's when he was a newborn. Now, speaking of her, Daddy, where is he? It's hard for me to imagine that he could steal himself away from his little miracle baby. I asked Jax to leave. I can't live with the man who lies to me. I didn't lie, okay? I simply wanted to withhold the truth until after the baby was born. Under the circumstances, I can see why Carly didn't make that distinction. Well, I made the, the best choice I possibly could at the time. I thought I was helping Carly and the baby. Well, Jocelyn's here safe and sound, and you both should be taking care of her right yeah, now. Yeah, it's not my job to keep her safe and away from Sonny. Good luck with that, and let me know how that works for you. Why do I have the feeling that I'm not just here as your friend to unload on? I love Carly with all my heart. But if our marriage doesn't work out, my daughter has to come and live with me. I can hardly imagine how horrible this has been for you. First to be taken hostage by that monstrous woman, and then finding a safe place in the storm to give birth to this precious child. I don't know why Jax didn't tell me. Well, I, I don't think he wanted to worry you. Things you've been through. Carly, these past two years. First with Michael and then with this precious baby. It's every mother's worst nightmare. But look at you. You're so strong, such courage. And now in the end, you have all of your children here with you and safe. Every reason for Jax to be even more glued to your side. You should sit down. We need to talk. Why do I get the feeling that I'm about to hear Jerry's name? What has my firstborn done now? The man who shot Michael was hired by Claudia Zucara. Jerry was his accomplice. Sonny was the target. They missed. I didn't think Jerry could get any worse. How could he be involved in this horror? How could he be a, a party to the shooting of an innocent boy, his own brother steps up? Well, apparently, around the time Jax and I renewed our wedding vows, Jerry sent Jax a DVD with a full confession. I still wouldn't know the truth if Sonny hadn't confronted Claudia. But then she freaked out, she pulled out a gun and she grabbed me and she took me hostage. And none of this would have happened if Jax would have told the truth. Oh, Carly, I realize you're angry and upset, and I must say, I cannot blame you one bit. I can only imagine how betrayed you feel. Yeah. But you must realize that Jax's only motivation was to protect you and the child. I wanted to come when I heard you were having problems with your pregnancy. I thought I could be helpful. But Jax said you needed to avoid stress, and I remember my relationship with my own mother-in-law, and... I loved her dearly, but we couldn't be in the same city for more than 48 hours without wanting to kill one another. I'm really glad you're here. Jax got that DVD from Jerry a full month before I found out I was pregnant. And he didn't say anything to me, so he decided to protect Jerry over our marriage. Jax was afraid of losing you. And I believe you can find it in your heart to forgive him. Uh, Jerry's involvement isn't Jax's fault. Jane, I can't get past the Claudia part. When Michael woke up from his coma, he went to live with Sonny, and he was around that horrible woman all the time, and Jack said nothing. He said nothing, he did nothing, and he didn't warn me. Okay, you're a mother. Could you forgive a man you love to put your kids in harm's way? Mom, I'm glad to see you. Words every mother loves to hear. Speaking of, you've got yourself a beauty, Jax. Now, I may be a bit biased, but Jocelyn is exceptional. I know, she's beautiful. Huh? I miss her. How's Carly? Well, she seemed happy to see me, especially since her own mom is out of town. Did you say anything? You mean about how she threw you out on your ear? Yeah. I knew it was bad when she told me to brace myself. I, 
Your brother, I cannot believe that Jerry was involved in Michael's shooting. And I understand why you kept it from Carly. Oh, Carly doesn't. Well, Carly's a mother. It's hard for her to accept that you let Michael live under the same roof with a woman who tried to no, kill you him. You know what? What everyone seems to be forgetting is the fact that Michael wanted to live with his father, okay? And he was very angry at Carly at the time. Actually, he was angry well, at Well, oh, that everyone. is all very well and good, but you kept a huge secret from your wife. Yes, because the truth could have killed her. Oh, that defense is a crucial mistake, sweetheart. It is silly to defend what you did when the wiser choice is to beg for forgiveness. Well, do you guys see the cool stuff me and Mercedes got for Jocelyn? Is she upstairs? Is Jax with her? Um, Jax is gonna be away a while. Did he have to go away on business again? Can he send someone else? We decided that, um, well, that we're going to spend some time apart. Doesn't make any sense. You guys just had the baby. Jax wouldn't leave. I asked him to leave. Sit down. This is a little complicated, okay? Uh, and I just need you to know that it has nothing to do with you or Jocelyn. This is between me and Jax. You can't make Jax go. I want him here. We need him. I know, and I know this is upsetting for you. You always do this! You always mess everything up for everyone else! Morgan! Charm and intelligence. How is it you don't know what a woman needs to hear? Well, I try to reason with Carly. Oh, dear Lord. What? You're going for reason and logic, and what Carly needs to hear is yes. that you love her and you're sorry. I told her I was sorry. Well, did you tell her that you would move heaven and earth for her? Did you say that there is nothing you wouldn't do for Carly and her children, all of her children? Mom, she knows that. Okay, that is the foundation of our relationship. Well, now is the time for you to do what men so seldom can. Admit you're wrong. Whether or not you believe it, beg Carly for her forgiveness. Remind her of everything you have together and of everything you want to give to Jocelyn and Morgan and Michael. Well, Carly seems to think that what I did was unforgivable, so no man of groveling is going to change that. Okay? So what, you're giving up? Well, she kicked me out of the house. Well, then you find a way to get back in. Use all the talents God gave you, that your father and I taught you. Now, you get creative. You, you have no choice here, Jax. Your family is at stake. I know that you've been through a lot. But you gotta keep it together. You gotta stay strong, especially for your kids. Michael, more than ever. Oh, God, there's something else happening. No, What's going nothing on? nothing happened. I just think... Is covering up Claudia's death. Just reinforced all the bad choices I've made for Michael over his life and asking him to keep this murder a secret might have been a mistake. That's what Jack said. He said we should go to the police and tell him the truth. <laughs> 